if God be for me, who can be against me? Throughout the day, or right now it's just me. You're here by yourself. Yeah. You came from Israel. You're standing here by yourself against a, 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 a mob of, there's got to be 500 people there. I was here first. Where are the rest of the Jews defending Israel? Uh, they're inside in the warm. <laughs> and you've been out here how long? I've been out here since about 8 o'clock this morning. Uh huh. Why aren't more Jews out here standing up for what they believe to feel to be right? Well, I think, first of all, it's against APAC rules for them to be out here, so they'll lose their accreditation. That's why That's why I didn't get their credentials. What? That's what they told me the last few years. But anyway... Uh, wait, did, wait, did APAC said that they would lose their credentials if they came out to challenge the protesters? Yeah, that's always been the policy. Well, I just heard somebody telling the students in there, who are the ones who really need to be out here, they were told that they, they should just go and listen to some of the policy conferences, and that's where they'll get strengthened. But that is a very un-Israeli attitude, because the Israeli attitude... They wonder have why we're talk, losing the have students. Arguments. Yeah, we don't have to wonder why they're losing the students. It's not, it's not only it. How many Israelis are out there arguing with them? Besides David, no, who's not? No, they're, they're actually, it's, it's, no, I did. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say oh, that there's, I wouldn't say that they're arguing. But it's great because some they're putting the facts. Yes, yeah, some no, no, they're, putting, they're putting out their facts and they're saying this, and they're saying, oh, the checkpoints, and then your guys are saying, I work the checkpoints. Don't you tell me about this. And he's saying about, I see how your own people are, are oppressing your own people. So please, why aren't you doing anything for, for that? And it's just great. And I, I love seeing that that's Israel. That's what's over there is these kids out there. That's what they have to give to the Americans. They're showing them what strength is. And it's beautiful. And I wish there were more Americans out there. I wish there were more Americans out there who are, would go out there and confront them also like that. And that's but, important. But what about all these American kids? Uh, maybe they don't know enough to confront them. Maybe that's what we have to educate them to do that. And how about the ones who are already in college? They're the ones who are older, in their 20s. Get yeah. them out there also. Let's everyone out get out there. Here, you have, you have Ross Walton from Stands With Us. Why aren't the Stands With Us? In front of the White House, when uh, the Prime Minister was here, and he came to uh, speak to Congress about the red lines of Iran. And when our country turned our back, I knew it was a dark day. So, and I'll always be here. Where's the rest of the, the, the uh, pro-Israel support against this uh, demonstration? They're inside, or they're asleep, like the church. You want to be pro-Israel? Take from some of our strength. As important as learning from what you're hearing here. So, okay. so, no. so go out there and argue with them. So go elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go kick some ass. Come on. <laughs> you're, 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 you're encouraging retreat. Sorry? You're encouraging retreat. No, no, no. no. Yes. Uh, are you allowed to be filming? Yes. So I'm encouraging that the work that we've done is so um, diverse and here that the amazing opportunity for us to do is to sit down in a bipartisan way inside the four walls. They're not looking to sit down with you. And that the amazing work they're looking to kill you. They're looking to kill you. Scott Dubin.
but there's no cops in between you. Correct. Asleep. It's time for this country to wake up, understand that Israel is our ally and our friend, and we don't we don't break friendships. And in Tennessee, that's what that's what being a Tennessean and a volunteer is all about. Friendships, period. You don't you don't turn your back on your friends. Israel is our friend, they're our ally, and I will always support them. Always. And I would say that that those that are for them are greater than those that are against them.